Again, go to the Cell Games Arena for Scenario 20. You are one cocky little brat! Are you ready? Super Saiyan Teen Gohan is somewhat unique to his other transformations because he's quick and he has more physical attacks. You start off playing as Teen Gohan in Dragon Adventure in this form, which is a good way to start off learning how to play as a character like Gohan, despite the fact that he acts similarly to, ki to Kid Gohan. His first key blast is Masenko, which by this point you all should know how to use it. His second key blast is Chomaura Tsugeki, which is executed and acts the same as Android 17's Delta combination. Shake the nunchuck twice and then move the Wii Remote forwards. His ultimate blast is the Super Kamehameha, which is done by moving the Wii Remote backwards then forwards. While this is performed like a regular Kamehameha, it cannot be charged like one, but even so, its power is great as is. Scenario 21 takes place at the Cell Games Arena again. Go Cell Juniors! Kill them as you please! <laughs> Watch out! Those guys are stronger than you think!
After clearing this scenario, you unlock Super Saiyan 2 Teen Gohan as a playable fighter. Changed. You're not going to get away with this any longer. And with only one battle as a Super Saiyan form, you can now play as Teen Gohan's highest level of Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2. This form is much faster than its previous form, as well as being that much more powerful. Super Saiyan 2 Teen Gohan's first Ki Blast is Masenko, his second is Gekiritsu Madan, and his ultimate is the Father Son Kamehameha, which is performed like a regular Kamehameha, but instead of directly firing a beam, it starts with a rushing key attack, then fires the strongest Kamehameha at this point in the series. Turn to the Cell Games Arena for Scenario 23.
Don't get carried away, kid. You mean that tiny brain of yours lets you think that you can beat me? I don't think I can. I know I can! Hm, impressive. Now it's my turn. Witness the awesome power of perfection! After clearing the scenario, you unlock Cell Perfect Form as a playable fighter. It's my fault. I got carried away, and... At that moment, an ominous wind engulfed the Z-Fighters, and in a sudden flash, Trunks was struck down. <laughs> Who was it that I hit? Was it Trunks? Cell has survived. Having absorbed Goku's abilities, the monster has returned, even more powerful than before. What's your problem, Freak Show? Have you finally lost your mind? My father died because of my arrogance. And now, I'm glad that I can finally avenge him. <laughs> Don't have to be bigger hands than that. I doubt things are going to turn out the way you hope they will. The final battle has arrived at last. Cell has been destroyed forever and the Earth is saved once again. In its place, Cell has apparently left a Z-Item. Fuse the self-destruction Z-Item with Cell Perfect Form to unlock Perfect Cell, the quote-unquote Super Saiyan 2 Cell. No time to play! I'll have to end this soon. Cells powered up even more than we expected. Prepare for your demise. I'm going to destroy this whole pathetic planet. Do what you want. There's no point in fighting anymore. I can't stop you. Don't give up, Gohan! Dad, where are you? Go on! Hit him with the best Kamehameha you've got! You can win. I know you can. Come on. 
We can do this together. Right! Thanks to the efforts of Goku and his friends, the evil cell was finally destroyed. The battle now over, the Z Fighters called upon Shinron to bring back all those who were killed by Cell. Goku, however, decided not to return. He left the Earth in Gohan's care while he continued his training in Otherworld. Thus, peace was restored, and the Z Fighters were able to return to their quiet lives. And that was the Android Saga of DBZ BT2. See you here next time for the Saga Super Android 13. If you want to hear non-scripted commentary from me, head over to my channel. This is Woody Geek, and I'm out.